It's the Golden Brick, and today we will be drawing the first drawing video, and we will be doing the pump shotgun. So you want to start off with uh, just a regular line kind of tilted this way, like that, and uh, you want to, here a little bit longer, and kind of over here you, here let me look. Bend it right there, and we want to go straight here. And go down. So this is kind of the base part of the pump shotgun, where, you're, where you hold it. And you want to have a little circle there. So let me think here. Yep, two lines right here. And you kind of want to curve them. Just curve them a little bit towards that way. And that's your handle. It should be a little taller than that, but that looks fine for now. And uh, connect it right up here. And uh, I'm saying and a lot. There we go. And then right in the middle here, we'll have a kind of like a circle. Here, I'm not sure why it's there, but that's just part of the gun. And so you want to just kind of go up a little bit with this line and then go here. And that's the top part of curve it a little bit at the end and then connect this right up here. And a circle right there and then one little aim thing right there that's where you scope through right here we will be doing the trigger so this is what it looks like so far and we'll put the trigger in so just go down a little bit don't overdo it and then right there and then go up here so now you just add the little trigger spot, and that's where your gun is. It's a little hard because I'm doing it with a sharpie. I recommend doing it with a pencil. A little too late for saying that, but whatever. And now we go here. Just add a little bit dot right there so we know where to go. And then dot right here, dot right here, and the dot right here. And Okay, so I, it's your choice how far you want to go out with it. I recommend using a ruler for this part, but you don't need to. Uh, so just pretty much go straight out with this part right here. I think that's long enough, maybe a little too long, but whatever. And... Ah, oh, this is such a hard setup. Okay. That's the top part where you aim through. And then connect that up at the top. And next part. So, you see how this is kind of that way? You want it to be, the barrel wants to be, oh, I accidentally made a dot there, but that's where you want it to go. You want this side of the barrel to be a little bit longer than uh, the beginning. So just put a dot right there. Oh, this is so hard. I'm like in between a table. And there, right here. And then curve it right at the end to connect with this dot. Okay, that's a barrel of it. Might not look good so far, but just trust me. Add dots in between there. Definitely be easier with a pencil, but right now I'm just doing it with a Sharpie. And then right in between these two last dots, have a little dot that goes up right there. And that's where you see through. And what's the next part? Kind of looking off this gun because I did this earlier. 
So next you want to go, you go out just a little bit with these two parts. Around that long. And next, don't connect right there, but just go like this. This is about as far as you want your barrel to go. You don't want it to go too far. Maybe a little bit longer. And not the barrel. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't know guns. Huh. I'm not really sure how far out to go, but just around this, you want to kind of curve it. And then stop right there. Go all the way up and connect it right there. And right here, you want to go out a little bit like this about halfway through and then go up uh, also you want to have a little grip spot right here so right there and you'll color that in later and ah, oh, you probably didn't even see that part well just look through this and then this is what you need to draw two lines right there and next right kind of parallel with this part you want to have a little spot right there and another spot like that I'm not sure really what that is but who knows uh, what else is next I think that's about it but let's get into the coloring part okay so you'll need a brown and a black so, just start off with this part, color in brown, ah, blah, 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 blah. Probably not the best coloring thing for this, but. Not really what I'm worrying about is uh, how good I'm coloring it, just how it looks, but. You can color it however you want, but th these are the basic colors. And the next brown part is right here. And one more thing, if you still have your Sharpie you need to add, is right here, just have it like black kind of over here. It just makes it look better for some reason. And uh, next up. Fill in the rest of the parts with your gray, like right here, and yep, right around it. Don't color in that spot because that's a, a handle, or not the handle, the trigger. And barrel right here. Don't color in these lines because uh, I'm. It's just there's air in between them, and right here you color in, and right here you want to have lines like this. Thing. Okay. 